We had a tour again, um, this time last year. So it seems a bit weird that we've undertaken like, the longest tour that we've ever done in sort of, 11 years. Um, but no, I mean, it's, it's been really good fun so far. The concerts have gone really well. Um, but I suppose it, it's mentally exhausting. Trying to, because there's like about 55 or 56 concerts and it's trying to get yourself up for every single concert and try and make it the best concert each night. Robert Smith in Rome talking about the current Cure tour. And this is one of the concert venues on the tour, the Rome Palliour. It might look pretty quiet from the outside. Inside, though, the fans are going wild. This prayer tour is a long and gruelling one for the band. So why have they made it so demanding? Once it had been moved, like to play the places where we're popular, like France and Italy and Germany. Um, I thought it would be really dumb just to go out and do the, you know, do the same thing over again. So I wanted to go to, we tried to play places like Bulgaria and stuff, but we, they wouldn't let us in. They, wouldn't, they, they thought we were ideologically unsound in Bulgaria. But we managed to get, we've managed to get to um, five, or we will get to five places, five countries that we haven't played in before. Um, and it's just like mentally that helps, like I was saying earlier, that helps to keep me sort of like fresh because they, I don't know what to expect from them, they don't know, know what to expect from us. Travelling right across Europe, do the band notice a difference between the countries? The Italians sing along a lot. Yeah. You know, they sing along to all the songs very loudly. Um, the Germans go uber ve, whatever that means, in between <laughs> all the songs. Different regions of Europe, because like, the north of Germany is completely different to the south of Germany. And this, what we tend to do is take a video camera, um, and one of the people that, that works with us goes out into the audience as they're coming in, and I ask them what they want to hear. Um, and we found certain songs that are really popular in certain parts, and that sort of gives us an indication of what the audience is going to be like. It seemed in uh, Athens that they didn't really know what to do. They didn't know how to react. When we came off at the end of the set, they just all stood there. They didn't realise they were supposed to clap to make us come back on again. It's because they didn't like it. They didn't like it. <laughs> when they don't clap, it means they don't like it. <laughs> The Cure are currently halfway through their tour, having visited Eastern Europe and still snaking up to places like France before hitting America in September. I've enjoyed it more than any other tour since the Faith Tour because we're actually playing songs on stage that I want to play, that I want to play every single song that we play. Um, and we're playing lots of new songs and it's a very... The set, we've played for three hours some nights. Like, we just keep playing, if we want to keep playing, and because like, and people can go home if they want. But, we're, like, we're enjoying it so much that it builds from, like, it's a really, really quiet, slow opening, and it builds and it goes into, like, frenzy by the time it gets to the end.